Hello, welcome to the Tiny Trailer Workshop. Well, I have another piece of that fig, and I thought I should have a pencil pot. Yeah, so we'll uh, let's see what's that. Don't know, it's got, got cracks and stuff. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I think I'll put a tannin on here, and if it's cracked up there in a pencil pot, that's fine. I don't mind. We'll just see what it does. Make sure that it goes around. Okay. thing about this uh, turning this fig after doing this little bit of a little bit of turning the whole shop now it smells like figs That's interesting quite interesting um let's put the truck back on here Yeah, that one's splitting right in there already. So that one goes right to the middle. So what I'm going to do, I think, I'll uh, clean this face up a little bit more, and then I'm going to put some CA glue in there, just to see if we can't stop it where it's at. That's amazing. This wasn't split when we started. Just in a couple of minutes. See what it makes of that, huh? I guess that's awful deep for pencils. So it's gonna have to be a paintbrush holder, I guess. I, it'll be something.
Well, I think we're to a point where I'm going to sand it and then we'll take the bottom off. Now, I'm going to turn off for the cam for the sanding. See you in a bit. Okay, last time I thought I would, uh, on this on this fig, I thought I would use the clear spray. Well, this time we'll use some, some shellac and see what the difference is. dry and we'll come back and do the sanding some more again over and over okay so um that's been shellacked now twice and sanded and I think it looks pretty cool we'll put a little uh, a little shine juice on it now just to just to get that final touch Last thing I want to do is tighten that too much and have it split. Now, that would really suck. the pith. I'd forgotten about the pith. That's what that was. Alrighty. Um, just put a little sanding on the bottom and we'll be all done. I think it turned out not too bad. But then I always say that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, let's uh, do some
Alrighty. Hi there. Well, that was a big pot. It was one of those ones that just sort of turned itself, at least on the outside. The, uh, the inside was another matter. It, uh, it certainly helps to drill a hole down the middle to open it out, makes it easier to, to clean out. But with a lathe like mine, I mean, the slowest it goes is 875 RPM. A little too fast for portion bits, I'm afraid. But, you use me. And you make the hole and life gets easier. Um, it was, it was interesting that that piece, uh, the fig bowl that I did last time, actually went sideways and that piece went up. It was the next piece and it just totally different looking look. A short time ago, we had the 2x4 charge put on by Brian Gibney at Summers Woodworking. And my entry was lucky enough to be one of the winners in that. Now, Carol, mm, I've already got the name wrong in my head, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Uh, the, the Polish woodworker uh, at KK Make donated prizes as well. He donated three of these spray gun handles. And what they are, um, probably the wrong color for this, but <laughs> what they are is a, uh, a spray, a, a handle for the top of your rattle cans. So you don't have to try and keep pushing that, that button up the right finger till your finger gets sore. And it's just one button. That's cool. It's a really good idea. Um, thank you, Carol. That was very kind of you to, uh, to do the donation. And thank you, Brian, for putting on the, uh, the challenge in the first place. Now, Carol also sent along a sticker. Now, I don't have a, a sticker wall or a sticker board or anything like that. Uh, but I guess I've always had my Think Geek monkey sticker on the, on the lathe. I might as well add it there. So, there we go. Thank you, Carol. Um, I guess that's it for now. Um, I want to thank you all for watching and I really hope to see you all again here next time. Bye for now. Bet you that doesn't show up.